Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to let you know, everything that you're getting ready to see is done on a Asus ZenBook 14. Ryzen 5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, NVIDIA video card, uh, Harman Kardon speakers. We're doing a giveaway on August 31st for this laptop. All you need to do is like and subscribe to my channel and you're automatically entered. Today we're going to be looking at Ubuntu DDE 21.04. Now right out of the box, it's got that beautiful Deepin look. I did a video a couple of days ago on Manjaro Deepin, and it's just as beautiful. First thing I want to do is kind of set it up the way I like to look at the screen. I want to go to the dark. Go ahead and leave the blue highlights. That's fine. Now with the Deepin edition of Ubuntu, of course you get the Deepin desktop, which by far, hands down, is the best looking, in my opinion. I know some would say elementary, but I think Deepin has upped their game quite a bit on this most recent. But let's go ahead and go over here first. Let's go open the control panel. Let's go down. I'll give you the system info. Presently, I'm running this in a virtual machine on a Asus ZenBook 14 with a Ryzen 5. It's got the NVIDIA graphics and 8 gigs of RAM but I've assigned only four to this virtual machine and two cores. And it seems to run really smooth. 64-bit, of course. Kernel is 5.11.0-16. Let's go up here. First thing you got is your accounts. You can go in and set your online accounts up. Display settings, brightness, display, scaling, and refresh rate, of course. Default applications, I really like this. If you go download a different application you can come over here and set it as default really quick out of the box your default is firefox mail is thunderbird text editor is text editor or libreoffice writer nothing for music uh, video comes with movie out of the box pictures come with image viewer album firefox web browser or gimp and of course you can download different terminals if you like personalization General, icon theme, cursor, and your fonts. You can set those system-wide. Network, notifications, sound, date and time, power, mouse settings, keyboard, and then, of course, we just did system info. I'm going to go ahead and check out the wallpaper selections that we have. Those are pretty nice. Is there one? I'll just change it to that one. That is a very good-looking wallpaper. Okay, so let's go over here and open up File Manager. Okay, I'll have to say hands down that this is definitely a, a good-looking file manager. I like how it's not cluttered, uh, and I think that's Linux across the board. I can't just give Deepin credit for that. Windows 10, when you use it, it really seems to get cluttered over here. I like the way this is just laid out. Next. We've got movie. You open up movie, and that's it goes right along with the global theme, nice and dark. Uh, in in my experience using this, if you're used to using VLC, you can slide right into this and not have any problems at all. Screen capture, image viewer, album, document viewer, text editor, terminal, document scanner, computer. Let's go to all categories, and we can break them down by internet. Thunderbird Mail and Firefox, and go back, Video, Graphics, Games, Office. LibreOffice, Writer, Tools, let's go over here and see About. Oh, and it's got the most recent version of LibreOffice, 7.1.2.2. Okay, let's close out of that. Let's see what else we got to look at over here. Screen Capture, Categories, System, System Monitor. Let's see what we're looking at right now on System Monitor. Now, as you can see in System Monitor, I've only assigned two processors of the 12, and I'm using 1.42 gigabytes at rest of the 4 gigabytes that I have given this machine. It automatically, in live mode, comes with 2 gigabytes of swap, which comes in real handy if you put this on a USB and carry it around in your pocket and just want to use it as a secondary operating system. Now, let's get some more information about Ubuntu DTE. Ubuntu DDE's website, uh, Ubuntu DDE OS is a fusion of Ubuntu's base system and Ubuntu's strong community and the beautiful desktop environment, of course. Ubuntu Software Center, which we will take a look at here in a second. The Control Center, which I've already opened up and showed you, which is very beautiful. 
in the file manager in the deepened desktop environment. You can get direct with Ubuntu DD Remix community on the Discourse. Uh, they're on Telegram, IRC, of course. They also are on Discord and Reddit. And I had a couple issues the last time I used Ubuntu DD. And what I can say is on their Discord and on their Reddit, when I had issues and needed help, the community was there for me. So you can definitely bet on the fact that if you download this and you use it and you do run into a problem, you're going to be able to find help. So let's close out of that. Let's come down here to the bar. That's our notifications, of course. Uh, trash, date and time, power, uh, onboard keyboard, battery, network, volume, and of course we're in English. Now if these right here, you don't want them to be there, you just click that button and they go over to your right. I did a video earlier on Manjaro Deepin. If Arch Base isn't your cup of tea, I would definitely give Ubuntu DDE a shot, especially if you're familiar with Linux Mint and Ubuntu. If you've used those Debian-based systems before, I think you can slide right into this one with a low learning curve and be able to have a, a great looking desktop and a different overall feel of the OS. Uh, it is beautiful. It is definitely elegant. I think it is much better than elementary OS. I would just recommend you go out and give it a shot. Thank you guys for watching today. I appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be entered for that chance to win the Asus ZenBook 14, Ryzen 5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, NVIDIA video card, Harman Kardon Sound. Thanks and have a good day.